And there is outrage tonight after the discovery of these pictures of local sorority girls posing as Latina gang members. It is an issue that has divided the campus of Cal State San Marcos. Yeah, 10 News reporter Allison Ash tracked down the pictures and the backlash. Well, the pictures posted online are definitely the talk of the town here on CSU San Marcos' campus today. In fact, the only people who aren't talking are some of the sorority sisters pictured in these photos. These are the pictures that have since been pulled from the Instagram pages of a member of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority at CSU San Marcos. Pictures that have some Latino and other minority students incensed. We don't feel safe. We feel like a constant ridicule or mockery of our, of our cultures. The same was said two years ago when students at UCSD protested over this, an invitation to a racist-themed party called the Compton Cookout. It was posted online, leading to a heated discussion of what is and is not acceptable in a culturally sensitive world. We tried reaching out to sorority members at Cal State San Marcos about these photos, and although we were told the president of Alpha Chi Omega has apologized, other sorority members aren't talking. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm sorry. Really not to offend anybody. It's purely innocent. Juliana Stump told us too much is being made of the photos. Yeah. To them, it kind of sucks just because there is a large Latino community, but at the same time, it's like every race will experience this and we can't like let it stop us from living our daily lives. Campus officials say the sorority won't face any disciplinary action because their pictures weren't meant to be hateful. I disagree. There should be ramifications. There should be um, consequences for their actions. We, and, we, only, we can only learn from our mistakes, but I feel like there some has to be some kind of pressure or something behind that in order for us to learn from our mistakes. Campus officials say more diversity training is now in the works and it will begin here with the new freshman class this coming fall. In San Marcos, Allison Ash, 10 News.